Hello everyone, uh, it's Prat from Radko Tarot and uh, in this whole video you are about to hear the forecast in terms of love and career as well uh, for your star sign uh, for the week 7th to 13th of September 2020. As always, if you are interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can go to my website and purchase a service uh, from there. The site can be found in the description down below. And as well, um, as Tarot is about a, a knowledge and uh, you're interested into the knowledge and you want to get it from me, uh, there are eight Tarot classes available at the website as well. Currently for the upcoming week, uh, the Tarot class for the Major Arcana is going to be on a flash sale, reduced cost with a 30%, uh, dropping it from $150 to $110. So if you are interested into that, message me on my Facebook page and I'm going to provide you with a link regarding the flash sale. That being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so uh, we do have Aries and Moon and as well rising on our hands. And the first thing that we're gonna have a look at is going to be your uh, love and relationship <clears throat> experience uh, toward the upcoming week. Upcoming week, I'm sorry. And uh, the reading is gonna show tendencies, is gonna show prospects, potentials. If you don't like it though, by all means, do whatever you see fit for yourself. So uh, the first card that we do have for you here uh, in terms of love and relationship, that is to be the Seven of Swords, uh, followed by the next one, which stands as the Five of Cups. Moving next, uh, that will be the Nine of Cups. And the last one we have for you guys, we do have the Seven of Cups. So it will be a bit emotional week. <clears throat> And the, having the Five of Cups on the second position, it points to that you, Sagittarius, are to be a little bit more touchy. Like overreacting on things, statements, something you have been said, you know, or, or your partner does a specific thing, say, that usually would not trigger you in any way, but throughout this week, it is because you are a little bit more touchy you are to get yourself trigger, triggered and that will be and the reason for that uh, actually resides here within the seven of swords that stands uh, into the prime of the reading and it shows i don't know how to really explain it in english it is where one has the feeling or rather like one has the standpoint if you will that one has the right so that being said you may find yourself thinking that it is righteous for you to do certain stuff, but when your partner does it, it triggers you. Like, you may think that it's righteous for you to chat with a close friends of your, friend of yours, that it is the opposite sex, but when your partner does it, you get triggered, because you may think that your partner is kind of hitting on that guy, or it's giving more attention to them than, than to you, and etc, etc. So that will be a bit of a, um, needless to say, uh, dangerous state, that you may find yourself in although uh, that state is going to subjugate your love prospect meaning that they will pretty much resign about it i mean your person of interest your uh, partner in life uh, or your husband or wife they're going to resign about it and they're just going to wait it out so to speak uh, that is uh, for the reason being is that uh, they pretty much will know how much they lose if they trigger themselves uh, in the response and they do realize that that will only going to provoke needless arguments and wrangles that nobody actually wins at the end of the day out of them. Uh, the Nine of Cups here setting on the third position is actually a quite good card. Um, I don't know how exactly will relate to your situation, but it does point out whatever your focus is in terms of a uh, love uh, and relationship. May that be a certain person of interest, may that be an, an enterprise that you want to undertake regardless. Uh, the Nine of uh, Cups, it's a point that it can happen, it should happen, but you are not quite there yet. However, uh, as you do progress into that um, endeavor, um, your life or the sense of life will 
ever so increase so you're going to be happier and happier moving forward with it at least for the duration of uh, of the upcoming week and how we do finalize and finish all that it's with the seven of cups at the end of the reading which is pretty much you know how the how the week is to end and there are a couple of manifestations of that card there uh, one of them is that uh, you will realize you know how touchy you are and you may kind of like uh, batter yourself a little bit for it but then everything goes back to normal um the other interpretation here uh for a love and relationship it is that uh, you may how do you say it uh, in terms of love like win a prize that was way above your pay grade okay so through your touchy nature and through uh, stepping for your own rights you actually kind of like hit on a guy or on a girl that does not pay attention to you up until this point and uh, you now got their attention uh, nonetheless so uh, by the end of the week should I, should you be doing something wrong or something out of character for your love life or for your relationship currently it will be analyzed by you and you are going to become way more grounded to a point where your uh, so to speak dreams are not going to be fantasies anymore but a seeds uh, seeds growing so those that are completely single at uh, the uh, reading itself it does point that you can have a type of interaction that you do want you don't have to make a piece with certain aspects say that you don't like uh, it will be tough though and it will be take more time that you would like but the bottom line is that you can have it so if you do have a person of interest but you are in a very early stage you better make sure that they do know what they are signing up for so that was about uh, your love and relationship areas. Now let's uh, move along with the um, business and career reading. So in terms of business and career, the first card is going to be the Page of Pentacles. That is one of the best cards you can have in terms of business and career, uh, move, especially if you do own a business. Okay, so next one, uh, that is to be the, the um, Six of Cups, sorry, uh, followed by the Ten of Wands, and then we do have the Five of Pentacles. So that is a typical a career reading. And long story short here, uh, the message itself it is that you have to press really, really hard on top of your, um, so to speak, devotions, like projects you like, project you, projects you find lucrative, businesses you do find lucrative, or a maneuvers, business maneuvers that you do find lucrative. Now, the finest thing of this week, it is to know how much you're worth and not to attend things that pretty much does not worth your while, okay? So because otherwise you're just simply gonna waste your time, okay? So whenever you do feel or you do analyze that some kind of activity into your current job or into your current business just ain't gonna pay enough for your means, then just don't do it, okay? It's, it's just as simple as that. Now, that being said, we do have the Six of Cups into the second position. And that car could be a little bit annoying or rather like it does manifest in a very annoying way. And that is the way that you don't exactly have the luxury to choose how to I do stuff around, like how to um, proceed with the project, like how to a tackle with a client. You do have the luxury to choose what you're going to do. You don't have the luxury to choose how to do it, okay? and unfortunately throughout this week it is where you have to pretty much do the dirty work around things that are rather annoying aggravating uh, and irritating at some point but you pretty much have to get the job done um take that thing away or how do you say it in english 
get it over with, if you will, and from there move on to a greater height. Now, by the end of the week, uh, some serious issues are to be addressed, issues that are undermining the stability of your job, of your project, uh, of your customers, if you will. Um, it is a fantastic week here to win um, trust from some clients, for example, that you would uh, that you would love to have at your side, and to pretty much placing purchases uh, purchases to you, uh, and because uh, by the end you are going to identify uh, quite a lot of um, aspects or areas, quite a lot of fronts that you need to uh, put your attention into. Uh, that would mean that you may kind of like feel a bit. Mm, unstable maybe the word um, or in, in, insecure uh, for you may have the doubts that you will be able to attend to every single one you know that you will be able to at the end of the day um, resolve every single demand issue plight whatever that you may face uh, into uh, into your career you will Okay, that is granted to you by the Ten of Wands, but only if you do roll up your, your sleeves up and truly undertake your a career unfoldment. No slack is acceptable whatsoever. Uh, those that are a jobless, uh, very important here for them. It's uh, the, the, the reading is more like a guidance reading and it's the understanding that you do go there to, to make money. You are making money through resolving someone else's issues. You don't have to like the job. The job have to pay for your services. Okay. So my, my, my narrative here, it is that you just have to sign up for the money, not for the pleasure of doing the job. And if you do go with that mindset, it's highly likely that throughout the week you are to find yourself a good job. So that being said, Aries, this was your a, a weekly general tarot readings in terms of a love and career. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them, guys. And we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.